That's a good girl. There's my Darwin, guys. I wanted to give you guys an update as to what's going on with her and what's going on with me. Oh, just lifting the camera up is hurting my shoulder. I actually did a mountain bike race uh, on the 8th of August and I ran right into a tree. Not one of my better moments. We did wind up a third, but man, my shoulder's pretty jacked up. But I had not as much drama as this girl had and I'm really happy to see her eating. And you'll notice her neck has definitely um, gone down, but if you look right here, uh, it's swollen right there. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's special shout out goes to Maria Filimonov. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. And so I'm really, uh, I got nervous because the other day she wasn't moving and I didn't really see her eating. And thankfully she's now eaten twice since that last observation. Um, I make sure that the uh, tortoise diet is wet I want it to be easy for her to kind of grab on, but that area right there has got me a little worried. So what I did is I contacted Dr. Mike Gillen from PGA Animal Clinic, and he set me up with some ceftazidine, which is an antibiotic. And we're just gonna run a course of antibiotics through her uh, because it's possible that these little scratches she had um, got infected when she went into her mud hole. You see how she holds her head down too? I think she still um, has a bit of a sprain, much like my shoulder. It's it's quite an effort just for her to kind of lift her head up uh, for very long. So you can kind of see here, she takes a break and then gets moving. Now, the other thing I was worried about is behind here are bones called the squamosal bones. And if she somehow broke one of those, that could be a problem. So I'm hoping that once this swelling goes down, we're able to see it. And um, we were also concerned that this is potentially an abscess. So we wanna really keep an eye on this. And that's why the course of antibiotics is gonna be important. I'm kind of making this easier for her to kind of grab into, you see that? Just make it nice and, I keep bunching it up and then I help her out. I've been feeding her. This way I know for a fact she's getting her food. Now you gotta be careful obviously when you're feeding a tortoise because she has that sharp beak and even though she wouldn't wanna hurt you, oh, she might by accident. So I always do kind of like when you're feeding a horse as I was trained when I was a little kid. My sisters all had horses and I guess you train them where you, you give them on a flat hand here. Come here, kid. Let's see if she'll kind of see it. There it is. Oh yeah, you just gotta be a little bit careful. So we don't want, we don't want it to pinch my little fingers now, do you? I'm sure it would <clears throat> be quite painful, that little jaw. Um, but anyhow, if she had a broken jaw, she would not even be eating. I can guarantee you that. Come here, babe. Come on, look up. But I just don't like how she keeps her head down. It's kind of a bummer. Um, I'm hoping that this is not a permanent thing because it would be such, such a tragedy if she had some kind of chronic issues after this ordeal. We're just coming on a week. It's, ha it's not even been a full week since she actually had this um, problem. So I'm hoping that with a little more time, she'll gain her strength back and she'll heal nicely. But you can kind of see, you can just kind of see right there, that swelling. I'm not, not a fan of that. But it's also possible uh, that it's an abscess developing. So Dr. Mike, we're gonna keep a look on that and he may have to come out and uh, get rid of that abscess. And you can kind of hear my ring going. Good girl, go on down there and grab that. What a good little girl, I love you. She's a, a very special animal. All the animals here are very special. I had to keep these two lunatics away from her at the moment because they'll crowd her and stuff. So I've got them eating over here. So there's Nostradamus and Socrates, but I wanted to show you what I've been working on in the front here. Um, you know, I had an incident, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I used to have bamboo around here. Uh, kind of would cut down on the visuals, um, but uh, hold on one second. Ah, there, that's better, I think. You guys good? Um, I got tortoise hands, uh, tortoise food hands. So anyway, the bamboo rotted out. It's over 10 years old. I tore it all down, and when I did, a lot of people started walking by, and 
I don't mind when people look at the animals, but Kate was driving by and uh, there was a woman and she was feeding the animals. Now, I'm gonna kind of give you all a bit of advice if you don't already know this. You may see people with horses in their yard. You may see um, dogs in the yard. You should never, ever, ever, ever feed anyone's animals. They're not yours. Um, just because they border the road does not give you, you know, the uh, go ahead to feed someone else's animals. I think it's quite rude because as you guys know, these tortoises have a special diet. So anyway, what I decided to do was this. I put up this new safari looking fence and then one of uh, my pals on Patreon, Bob Hutchinson, he printed out some really cool signs that says, please do not feed the tortoises. But I'm kind of digging this. It looks a little bit like King Kong lives back here, I think. So I, I'm really happy with the way it looks. It's kind of crazy looking. It looks very safari-esque, but I've got a lot more to do. I've got to go about 350 feet. I've already done quite a bit of it, but we still have to do some on that side, and we've got to do some on the other side as well. So there you go. I mean, that's what's happening right now. I've um, been working hard on this. <clears throat> I wish I could switch hands because my shoulder's tired <laughs> from hitting the tree. Not, not good, Kenny. Trees are not meant to be hit. Um, anyway, let's shut this up. And I want to show you what I did today. We sealed up the area that she hurt herself on. So it's curing right now. We got the cement... Uh, uh, kind of curing. I went around and I filled in some other areas just to make sure that this never happens again. And you can see just how much of the earth she moved around when she was stuck in there. So she was really torquing on that head. So there's definitely going to be some issues. But the fact that she's eating and moving, she seems to be walking normal. Um, that's good. Now, I mentioned the squamosal bones earlier. Um, those bones, if she cracked her inner ear near a tympanium, which I don't think she did because the swelling's a little further back. But the good news is, you know, if she did in fact, and it actually looks like that swelling is going down a little bit. When you look at her from the top, you can see how one side's swollen and the other side's not. So it's going down a little, but it still has a bit more to go. So I really just want to keep an eye on it. But what I was going to tell you is if she were to break one of the bones or damage her ear, she would have some problems with her balance. And yes, tortoises have balance, but you can see it's just beat up. She's just all scratched up. Let's see what these antibiotics will do. Tomorrow I give her another injection and that hopefully um, we'll start to see it's the second dose so we're going to start to see um, it really start to take uh, effect and then we're just going to finish out the injections and really hope that this gal makes a full recovery but you can see she's moving around fine um, i think i'm going to risk giving her some dry stuff here i don't think it's going to be a problem i want to if she's hungry i want to give her food let's just see if she can kind of use her tongue still to uh Oh, she sees, she sees this, silly girl. You see the, you see the yellow. But yeah, I don't like how she's, I mean, that's, she doesn't lift her head up high, which, that scares me, man. Let me see if I can get her to lift her head up. I mean, it, come on, come on. Can you go a little higher? No, does that hurt? Yeah, I think it's, I think we're just gonna have to let her do her thing. And hopefully, it's just a strained neck. So we'll just take this bucket out. Whenever they see the bucket, they get excited about the bucket and ignore the food that's in front of them because they understand the bucket is what has food. So we're gonna see if she'll turn around here or back up. If she'll just back up, she'll see the food on the tray. Or maybe we can kind of pull her. She's so funny. Well, she's lifting her head up a bit, but again, I'm just so nervous about this, guys. This is just a horrible thing to have happen to her. But hopefully, you know, it does look a little crooked right in here. It definitely looks a little crooked. And I don't know if it's just more pronounced because of the, um, you know, because of that swelling. Um, I may even want to get her out for an x-ray, but how am I going to get her? She's so big and I don't think we can even get her on the x-ray table unless they have a um, portable x-ray. I don't even know if they have those. I know they have them for, uh, I think they have them for horses, but I don't know. I am not sure. Anyway, now that she's kind of moved off this, maybe, yeah, maybe I can just kind of do this here. Oh God, it's of course her big butt's on it. You gotta get your big hiney off, kid. Oh, one hand is never enough. There we go. 
Come here, love. Here, look. There is some food. Let's see. But it does. It definitely takes effort. But the fact that she's eating, that's huge. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, uh, you know, I'm gonna keep this tortoise alive. There you go. Good girl. She's able to get it up in there. Good girl. That's a baby girl. Oh, that's the tray angel. You gotta, you gotta do this. Let me help you. There you go. Just get in there. Get your little tongue out. She uses her tongue almost like a chameleon sometimes. It's sticky. So she's able to kind of pick up a... There we go. Maybe I can help her with this. Oh, that's scary. I don't know. It's not as easy. Yeah, that's kind of scary for me, guys. I hope you understand. Mm. Come on. Oh, come on, one more time. I'm playing. Okay, there you go. Oh, almost. Come on. Get that sticky tongue. There you go. There you go. I'm like playing a game of Russian roulette here. There she goes. She's able to get it. What's going to happen is the other ones are going to finish their food first. Anyhow, this is um, this is what it's about. Now, something I want to also say is, you know, any animal, okay, that gets into a traumatic experience like this, even humans. I got hurt on um, on Sunday, and you know, you get run down from being injured. Your body starts to, you know, really put all of its attention onto healing the injured site, and that's why secondary infections can become a problem, which is why we're on this. Uh, you know we're on this uh antibiotic course so we're gonna hope for the best we're gonna keep nutrition in her i've been feeding her cactus i've been feeding her watermelon to keep her hydrated so um all very good stuff and uh we'll just keep an eye on her guys and as you know i'm always going to keep updating you as to what's going on but yeah you know tough animals but sometimes they're fragile it's just amazing it really is amazing anyway Let's keep, uh, keep Darwin in your thoughts, folks. Let me know down below what you think of what's going on. I know it sucks, but send her some well wishes, will you? In the meantime, I'm sure this lunatic Socrates is going to come over here and steal a little bit of her food. But what are you going to do? She finished it. She's going. But you can kind of see, you know, you look at her neck. You can see how it's functioning. We just got to get her back to that kind of mobility. Again, it's been less than a week. So I'm really feeling good about this. And also, if you watch the video, we talked about um, Aldabra tortoises. We got a little baby Aldabra from my friend Jerry's mom. Um, can you see that foamy eye gunk? That's normal on Darwin. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. There's some foam in her mouth, uh, in her eyeballs, and that's actually helping clean out her eyes. So I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. There it is right there. So that's what's going on, everyone. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you're at. My shoulder hurts. Definitely a good sprain. Um, hey, man, thanks so much. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos, coming along on this journey with me. You see what it takes to keep these animals healthy, and accidents will always happen. But we learn from them, we fix the area, um, and we try and do the best thing for our animals. So that's all we can do. They are under our care when they're uh, in captivity. Um, and let me just tell you something. I actually have seen a turtle stuck uh, in a cypress root thing. It was almost dead. I happened along on my canoe and I saved a turtle that had gotten into a predicament. These kind of things happen in the wild as well. Nothing is perfect. Nature is only perfect because it's, it's dumb luck sometimes. You know, you make a wrong turn, you get your neck stuck. So had she been in the wild and that happened, no one would have been around to save her for the most part. So I'm glad that I was able to find her. Again, I have to say thanks to my wife, Kate, because she's amazing. She really kept an eye on these animals and she knows when something's wrong. Believe me, if something is out of place, Kate will see it. All right, everyone, you have a great day wherever you're at. I'm gonna get to it and uh, thanks again. I'll talk to you soon, bye.